Hello everyone, sorry for a late update, but here I am at last. This update I was mostly working on more understandable character screen, so everyone can see if the character has some apply bonuses or debuffs at the time. Simply put, if the overall effect is higher than the base, you will get a green color, red color is for negative. From old NPCs, I was able to implement a healer only, which is a character that might heal you and your mortal wounds. Finally, I started working on implementing old sets of skills. At the moment, we have fully functional elemental protection, smite, berserk, corrosion, stone skin, rot, and kind of a new one, magic override. I've implemented a couple of strange mechanics, which might look strange, but I believe that the roguelikes should have some weird, not so much balance and obscure mechanics and ideas. So first one is life rune in damage slot. You can imagine that instead of damage, it will heal your target. Chaos rune is slightly more understandable. The damage output has completely random effect. The only negative is that if you will get an order output, you will get hurt instead. Which might or might not be a problem for berserks, because that what you get as a bonus if you get damaged and keep killing enemies. The last one is a rot, which is a new terrifying mechanic. The idea behind it is that you might catch up a rot by being damaged a creature with a rot or by eating a rotten on or infected corpses. Every point of rot lowers your strength and agility. I'm planning to make uh, some more interesting mechanics around the rot in the future. And as I mentioned before, you can eat corpses now. Well, this update everything spawns corpses, even doors, but that will be fixed. Of course, not all corpses are edible. Plus, there is a danger of becoming a cannibal, which will anger lawful gods or accidentally getting a rot. And that's all for this upgrade. Thank you for watching and see you next time.